So in this video, we will learn how to create WordPress post from Google Sheets. Now suppose guys, you are posting daily new blogs on WordPress and you are maintaining Google Sheet to maintain all the details and content of your blog. So basically in this video, I, we will create an automation by which whenever you will add a new row of content in Google Sheet, automatically, instantly, the very same content will be shared as a new post on your WordPress site. Interesting, right? So the trigger of automation will be addition of new row in Google Sheet and action will be creation of post in WordPress. Now, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So here, first of all, we'll come to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will click on sign in and sign into my own Pabli Connect account. After signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. And here we have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. After clicking on access now, here we will reach to the Pabli Connects dashboard. After reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to WordPress. Google Sheets to WordPress and click on create. Basically, you can give any name to your workflow according to your choice. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details of new post which we are adding in our Google Sheets from Google Sheets in Pabli Connect. Then after that, using Pabli Connect, we will send that very same new post content to WordPress so that as and when a new details or new content is added in Google Sheet, instantly this with very same content, with very same details, a new post should be created and shared on our WordPress site. So guys, to completely automate this process, we are using Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect workflow, in trigger window in Choose app, we have to first search for Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we will select new or updated spreadsheet row. Now, as we select our trigger event, Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now, we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So, how we are going to do this? You can refer to the help text given below over here. So, just copy this webhook URL from here and go to the spreadsheet which you have created in Google Sheet. So this is my spreadsheet and in this sheet, I am adding the title of the post and the actual content which I want to share on my WordPress site. And after re reaching to our spreadsheet, we will just go to extensions, go to add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to the Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhooks this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. You can also install this same add-on into your own Google Sheet. And after installing it, just don't forget to refresh your Google Sheet once. This is a very important step. And after refreshing it, once again, we'll go to extensions. And this time we can see that Pabli Connect Webhooks, this add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on initial setup. After clicking on initial setup, here we can see that a dialog box appears in front of us. And in this dialog box, it is asking us basically three basic details. So first thing it asks us is select sheet. So in this spreadsheet of mine, there is only one sheet named as sheet one. So by default, it is selected the same sheet. Then it is asking us for the webhook URL. So now here in webhook URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Just copy this webhook URL from here and paste it over here. And after pasting the webhook URL, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of a spreadsheet. For example, in the background, as you can see, column B will be my trigger column because it is the last column in which my data exists. After column B, in none of the columns, my data does not exist. So guys, basically column B will be the trigger column for this spreadsheet. 
according to your spreadsheet, according to your data, basically any column could be your trigger column. Just make sure that the, it is the last data entry column of your spreadsheet. And after entering a trigger column, we just have to click on send test. So as we click on test send test, the details of the very first row, basically the second row over here after heading, the first row after heading, the, the data of our first row after heading is now sent to Pavli Connect using this webhook URL. So it is showing us test data sent successfully. Now we will click on submit. And then one second we'll go to extensions, Pavli Connect webhooks, and this time we will click on send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this add-on, we are telling this Google Sheet that as and when a new data of new post it add, is added in a new row in this spreadsheet till our trigger column, instantly send that data to Pavli Connect. And because we have clicked on send test, the details of this row is now sent to Pavli Connect. So let's check our workflow. So here in Pavli Connect workflow, we can see that we have received some response from Google Sheet. And this, in, this is the response of the same details, same data, which we have added in our Google Sheet. So the post title was automation and integration. So we have the same post title over here. And then after that, we have the same post content from our spreadsheet, which we have added. So this means guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have connected Pavli Connect with Google Sheet using the webhook URL and received the data of post which we are adding in our Google Sheet in Pavli Connect. Now after that, let's move to step two. And step two, we have to send the same data to WordPress so that we can create a new post over there automatically. Now for that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for WordPress. WordPress it is. After selecting WordPress, in the dropdown in action event, we have to select create post. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect a WordPress account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, it is asking us for the username or email address, password and base URL of our WordPress account. And also guys, we have some help text over here. Rest, let's read this note which says, this integration uses the basic authentication method and required that the WordPress REST API authentication plugin be installed and activated on your WordPress site for authentication. So guys, we before making the connection, we have to install this plugin, WordPress REST API authentication plugin. Let's click on this hyperlink and it will take you to this page. From this page, you can basically download this plugin. Just click on download and this plugin will be downloaded in your system. After that, we have to install this same plugin into a WordPress account. Now to install this plugin, just go to the dashboard of your WordPress account and from the left side, scroll down and go to plugins. And after that, click on this add new button. After that, after clicking on add new, at the top side, you can see upload plugin option. Just click on upload plugin and upload that same file which you have just now downloaded from here over here in this upload plugin section. And then just click on install and that plugin will be installed in your WordPress site. After that, just go to install plugin, just hover on plugins once again, and go to install plugin, and then activate that plugin. After activating that plugin, let me show you, I have already installed that plugin. Just copy this name, WordPress REST API authentication plugin. Let's search for this plugin. Okay, so this is the plugin, WordPress REST API authentication plugin. So after installing it, just activate it. As you can see, it is already activated in my WordPress side and then click on configure. Now, as we click on configure over here, it is giving us some options out of which we have to select basic authentication, just like this, and then enter the username and password with base64 encoding of your WordPress site, and then click on next and click on finish. And that's it guys, you have successfully installed that plugin. After that, the username and password which you have entered over here, just enter that same username and password, email address and password of your WordPress site over here. And then the base URL. Now to get the base URL, just go to your WordPress site. And here in the URL section, you can see this is the base URL of your WordPress site. Just copy this URL from here, the base URL and paste it over here. And if you have any doubt regarding the base URL, just refer to this, which says enter your fully publicly accessible WordPress URL with leading HTTP or HTTPS. Do not include slash WP admin or slash WP login dot PHP over here. 
So here in this URL, you can see before WP admin slash WP admin before whatever URL you have before that, just copy that complete URL and paste it over here. And after entering the username, password and URL, just click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection. So I'll click on select existing connection and I'll click on save. Now after installing the plugin and making the connection, the it is asking us post type. So in the drop down, we have all the types of post which we can create on our WordPress site. So what is the type of post which we want to create? So we want to create a simple plain text post. So I will select post over here. If you want to create some other type of post, you can select any kind of post from here in the drop down. After that, it is asking us post title that the post which we are creating or publishing on our WordPress site, what is the title of that post? So we have entered the title of the post in our Google Sheet and received the Google Sheet response in our trigger window in Public Connect Workflow. So this is the post title. So we have to basically map this same post title over here in this post title field of WordPress. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down, we can see that all the responses which we have received from Google Sheets can be seen over here. So out of all of these responses, select the response of post title and it is mapped over here. So whatever title of the post which we will be entering in Google Sheet in this column in the row, that same with, the, with that same title, the new post will be shared. Then it is asking us for the post content. So we have also received the post content in which we have entered in our Google Sheet in Public Connect and this is the content. Then we will use the same process of mapping to map this content over here in this post content field. Just click on this field and from the drop down, just select the post content. So after mapping the post title and post content, it is asking us slug and X route. So these both of these fields are not mandatory, not required. So we will just ignore these fields. And the next thing it asks us is status. So in the drop down, we have some options that what will be the status of the new post which we are creating. Either this post will be published, added to a draft, either the status of post will be pending or private. So I want that the post content which I am adding in my Google Sheet, those posts should be instantly get published in my WordPress site. So I will select publish over here. If you want, you can select draft, future or any other thing or any other status of your choice from the drop down. Then it is asking us for the category ID. So in the drop down, we can see all the categories which we have created in our WordPress site can be seen over here. And the, this post, the post which you are sharing in this video is will be uncategorized over here. So you can select the category as well. Then it is asking us for the tags. So we have lots and lots of tags which we have created. So all the tags which I have created in my WordPress site can be seen over here. And then the tag which we will be giving to this post is testing. Then it is asking us featured media ID that the media which you have uploaded in your WordPress site out of any of this media file we want to share with this post or not. So I don't want to share any media file. So I will just turn this mapping button on and clear this field and leave it blank to ignore this field. So because I don't want to share any media file, so I'll just keep it blank. Then after post guys, it is asking us, sorry, after media ID, it is asking us format. So the format will be standard format or we have some several other types of format like is it a audio format, video, status, quote, image, link, gallery, chat, aside and other formats as well. So this is a standard post. So I will select standard. You can basically make the changes in this step according to the type of post or the content of the post which you are adding in Google Sheet. Or basically, if you want to change all of these fields, or if you want to keep these fields, all of these fields dynamic, you can create a column for each and every field in your Google Sheet and enter these details over here. Like for example, if I want to change the format of the post, like some of my post will be images, some of my post will be videos, or some of my post will be standard. So you can basically add a column for format, enter the format of the post in that column, get the response of format in public connect. And basically by turning on this mapping button, you can map that format over here. So if you want any dedicated video regarding that, that how you can basically make all of these field dynamic for your WordPress post, just add the comment below. Then it is asking us after format, it is asking us ping status. So I'll just keep it open. Comment status is also open. User can also comment. Then it is asking us author ID that which author is sharing this post. So I want this post to be shared by the name of admin. So it will be admin over here. Then it is asking us sticky. So that is false or true. So I want sticky to be false. 
and at last a password. So I don't want to add any kind of security or password to this post. So I will just click keep this field blank. And after entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the post with this content which we have entered in our Google Sheet or basically the post content which we have mapped over here is now shared as our WordPress site as a new post. Now guys, let's go to our WordPress site and check it. So we will go to our WordPress account, go to post section, all posts. And yes, we can see that just now a new post is shared on my WordPress site by the name of automation and integration. So the title of this post is automation and integration. Let's click on view and we will see that this is the same post whose details, whose content we have just now added in our Google Sheet. So this is the same title and same post content which we have added in our Google Sheet is now shared as a new post in our WordPress site, which means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once. In our Google Sheet in the next row, we will add a new title and new content for a post and we will see that is instantly this with the same content and title which we add in our Google Sheet, a new post is created on our WordPress site or not. So the title of my new post is for example, email marketing, email marketing and then let me enter the content of that post as well over here. So let me paste the content and this is the content. Just a second. Okay, so this is the title of the post and this is the content which we have just now added in our Google Sheet. And because we have created this automation, we will see that instantly the, as we add the content in Google Sheet, a new post will be shared in our WordPress site. Let's go to the post section of WordPress. Let's refresh this page. And yes, email marketing instantly a new post is shared in my WordPress site. Let me check that post and we will see that this is the same post. The, this is the title of the post is email marketing, same title which we have added in our Google Sheet and the content of the post is email marketing is a form of marketing that can make the customer on your email list aware of new product discount and other services. The same content which you have added over here just now. Which means guys we have tested this automation in real time and this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, let's get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect and in this workflow we have selected Google Sheet as a trigger application and new or updated spreadsheet row was our trigger event. After that using a webhook URL, we have connected Google Sheets with Pavli Connect and after making the connection, we have received the details of the first post. The first post which we have added in our Google Sheet in the new post row in Pavli Connect. After receiving the post details, we using Pavli Connect, we have sent that very same content of the post to WordPress so that this automation can be created and whenever now we will add the details or the content of a new post in Google Sheet in the new row, instantly automatically a post will be shared in our WordPress site instantly. So guys, not just these applications, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video, don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you, have a nice day.